The future of the ports of Auckland is still being debated with relocation to Northland on the table. Any move is still some years away and in the meantime the busy port in the Waitemata Harbour has created what it believes is a unique site, combining floors of cement with an abundance of nature. Ashley Yates explains. The beginning of a green oasis in the heart of a concrete jungle. This living, breathing wall is at the ports of Auckland and claimed to be a world first. This hasn't been done anywhere else. Uh, as far as I know, there's nowhere inside a port boundary in the world that has this sort of feature. The unique thing about this garden is that it is soil based. The rest of the big structure gardens that you see around the world are hydroponic, meaning that they are planted in an inert medium, no soil. It's the leafy exterior of a giant parking lot. At five storeys high, the facility will temporarily house imported vehicles before they're moved off site. Forecasts are that we'll get probably upwards of 400,000 over the next 10 to 25 years. We could have built just a big ugly square box, but we wanted to do something different with this building. The hanging gardens are manufactured locally by prisoners at Pirimirima Prison. Well, they're using um, stainless components, anything from stainless wire to using milling, milling machines and an assembly of, of those components to, to construct the hanging gardens. The intricate design constructed over eight months. Men in our care uh, just have embraced that actually. They learn lots of skills from their time in the workshop here and yeah, it's really positive, it's good therapy for them. Built into the structure, a sensor-controlled irrigation system to water around 3,800 plants, mainly New Zealand natives. The plants specially chosen so they don't attract insects and other pests. Each pocket has a little dripper above it, and so for about two minutes a day, we just drip into each pocket, and that is sufficient for the plants to survive and thrive. A light sculpture is also being added and eventually a public park on the building's rooftop. It may be a grand car park design but it's one that's trying to embrace nature.